So last weekend I tested out some stuff that I wanted to do, some different products so I could do some tutorials. I had one in mind I really wanted to do which was this bag to carry your pets in that was kind of more mesh than not. I love how this turned out but I wanted to tweak it a little bit because I wanted the bottom to be a little bit more boxy so that they could sit a little better. So I made some changes to it which is what we're going to do for our tutorial today. So I have everything that I need already cut just to minimize the amount of time the video takes. I will put um, all the information for how, what pieces you'll need and the sizes and everything that you'll need in the description. And I will also put links to where I got um, some of this stuff so that you'll know quickly where you can find it. The, you will need some mesh, which this is pet mesh. You can get this from Joann Fabrics. You can get it cut by the yard. You can actually get a cut smaller if you want. So you don't have to buy a whole yard. I'm sure you can get it other places too, but I just picked it up at Joann's. The exterior of my bag is going to be cotton. This is actually a novelty, like a specialty cotton that I had ordered from Spoon Flower. It's got ferrets on it. I'll be using flannel. This is flannel, which I'm going to use for the inside of the bag. You're going to need a zipper. The bag is going to be 16 inches wide. So I have a zipper that's 22 inches, but really you just need one that's about 16 or 17 inches. I don't even know if they make those. This is just what I had on hand and I can cut it down. Um, you also need some zipper tabs. I also will be using an adjust, I'm going to make an adjustable strap. So for that, I'm going to have um, some hardware. These I'm going to make into tabs, which I'm going to loop onto these and we're going to stitch it into our bag so that I can clip my swivel hooks onto it. Um, and here's my adjuster, my slide bar adjuster, and you'll need some strapping. I will go over how to put all of that together. Um, this, all of this you can buy on Amazon. Um, some, you'll need uh, scissors or a uh, rotary cutter, a ruler, some strapping. I'm going to be using some interfacing. Um, I use, I'm going to be using this particularly, which is the um, Shape Flex interfacing. I will put a link, like I said, and all the information to that. I'm going to have a piece of interfacing for each piece, inner and outer piece. You're going to need pins or clips a sewing machine and if you use interfacing and iron and you'll probably want an iron anyway just so you can iron over certain parts of your bag as you go through the process. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to iron on my interfacing to the backs of my inner and outer fabric and then I will start explaining how to put all of this together. <laughs> four pieces of outer outside fabric that measures um, 17 by 5 inches. Each piece has a piece of interfacing on the back. I have a piece of inner fabric that also four of them that also measure 17 by 5 inches that has a piece of interfacing on the back and I have two pieces of mesh that measure 9 inches by 17 inches. All right, so to give you guys an idea of what the bag will look like, so you kind of understand what we're doing, um, I feel like this will make more sense. So the bag is going to look something like this. This will be the bottom, this will be the center, this will be the top. What we're going to do now is we're going to grab a piece of mesh, a piece of outer fabric, and a piece of inner fabric. Lay your piece of mesh down. If you have directional fabric, pay attention to how you do this next step. So uh, we're now working with the top of the bag. So this is going to be where the zipper goes. So I want my fabric, if it's directional, and this one is, to be looking at me like I'm going to be looking at it when it's all said and done. That means for me it looks like this. Okay? My zipper will go here. What I want to do now is I want to fold this down on top of my mesh. And I want to clip it in place. Flip it over, take a piece of your inner fabric, right side down. You're sandwiching your mesh between the inner and outer piece of fabric. And this is the top. You're going to do this for both pieces of mesh. So I'm just going to set this aside for one second. I'm going to prepare the second piece of mesh, again, the top of the piece of mesh. All right, and then I'm going to put my another I'm going to right side down put a piece of outer fabric okay so now you should have both your pieces of mesh prepared like this you should have your mesh sandwiched between an outer and inner piece of fabric you're going to go to your sewing machine you're going to stitch all the way across 
on both of these. I would do like a half inch seam. All right, so when you are done, you should have something that looks like this. You'll have it, just fold it over so it matches up. And then you're gonna wanna um, clip, I'm gonna clip this. Um, we're gonna be attaching our zipper on this, oops, <laughs> on this end right here. So I'm just gonna clip this, but before we do anything with our zipper, we gotta top stitch something else. So let me just flip these over. So I'm just flipping over where I stitched and we're basically hiding this raw edge in between the two layers, between the inner and outer fabrics. We just wanna line these up, and if it's, if it's a little off, don't worry, it's, it'll be okay. Um, it'll all work itself out in the end. So we're just... Okay, so now you're gonna to wanna to go over to your sewing machine, and you're gonna to wanna to put a top stitch right across this top right here, right, I mean, right across your seam. Um, it'll just help sandwich, keep that mesh nice and tight sandwiched in between the inner and outer fabrics. Uh, leave your clips in place because we're getting ready to put on our zipper and we want everything to stay nice and lined up. So just top stitch across this right here and then come back. So what we're gonna do is we are going to prepare our zipper tabs. These are two and a half inches by one and a half inches. That's what they measure. So what you're gonna wanna do is um, you're gonna take your tabs you're going to fold it in half. Now, watch your fingers when you're doing this because um, it's a little piece of fabric and <laughs> I want you to burn yourself. We're just going to press over that. And then you can open it back up. Yeah. Okay. And then you see how it has the crease in the center. You're going to want to fold almost to the crease, but not all the way. Just about there. And then... Press over that, fold the other side the same way, almost to the crease. And then you can fold it together. So what I'm gonna do, um, I'm just going to clip this, keep it like that, until I take it over to the sewing machine because that's where I'm going to be using it. So I'm going to do the same thing to the other piece. Alright, so my zipper is obviously way too big, but that's okay. What we're going to do is um, I am going to cut this about an inch smaller than what my finished pouch is going to be. So I, my finished bag is going to be 16. Um inches wide so I need to mark my zipper and cut it so that it's 16 inches and then we're gonna add our zipper tabs on too <laughs> my zipper is not a regular one um, just because I this is all I had in this length we're just gonna measure we're just gonna start here we'll say down to 16 it's right here so I'm gonna go over to my sewing machine I'm gonna <clears throat> stitch over this just to create a kind of a zipper stop then I'm gonna pull this back. I'm gonna pinch these together. I'm gonna to stitch over this line and make a zipper stop. What I did that you couldn't see on the sewing machine table or on the table over there was that I marked 16 inches between these two spots. So what I'm doing now is I'm stitching over top where I drew my lines. I'm gonna start, this is my zipper pull, so I'm not starting there. I'm just gonna put my machine That should do it. Now, before you do the other part, you're gonna want to move your zipper out of the way. And then you're gonna need to hold these together to do this. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut right above that line I just stitched. I'm going to open it up. I'm going to stick the end inside of there. And I'm going to clip it just to keep it nice and neat and in place. And then I'm going to sew over top of it. Okay. 
We're going to do the same thing. Now you have to go down to where you stitched your other part right here. Clip that off. Do the same thing. Okay, so now you have your zipper. For me, this is the right side of my zipper. For you guys, if you got a regular nylon zipper, this is gonna look like the right side, but you're, because my zipper pull is on top, that makes it the right side. I have a zipper where the teeth are facing inside the bag. It's, I, this is the only zipper I had. I know I keep saying that, but it's just not one I would have normally used for this. So basically what you're gonna wanna do now is you want the right side or the outer side of your, of one of your, grab one of your panels, um, the front piece, whatever you're calling the front, and have it facing up. Um, take your zipper, you want the right side facing you as well. You want to lay it like this, so this is the right side. You want to flip the right side of the zipper to the right side of your outer piece. So you want this edge to match up against here. You're gonna wanna, there should be about a half inch on each side. Clip that in place. Okay, so now you're gonna wanna go to your sewing machine and you're gonna wanna stitch this down. You're also going to want to use your zipper foot for this. So I have my zipper foot put on. My zipper foot might look different than yours, um, but so I'm just going to. Now when you get close to your zipper pull, you're going to have to stop and move it out of the way. So now you shove your zipper sewn on. Now remember, my zipper's a little different than a normal zipper, so just know that. Now you're gonna take your other top piece and you're gonna attach it right sides to this part of the zipper that has not been, that, does, that is not attached to a side yet. I'm gonna make sure my sides are lined up. That's what my main concern is when I'm doing this. And I'm just gonna clip just this top part the part of the zipper that has not been stitched, and basically attaching the other side. So just, let's do that. Really should have got a regular zipper for this. Yeah, just saying. Not loving this zipper situation. You're gonna do the same thing for the other side. You're just stitching down the part of the zipper that is clipped. The other half that has not been attached yet. Okay, so once you've done that, you should have something that looks like this on the back. Now you obviously don't want to leave your, you don't want to leave it like this. It's just going to create havoc when you go to open and shut it. It's going to be a big pain in the butt. Yours truly purchased an invisible zipper. You don't want to do that. Don't do that. Just use a regular zipper. But I need to, to stitch this down so that it doesn't get in my way when I open the bag. And to do that, um, first I'm going to take an iron. I'm going to press these so that they stay flush. Then I'm going to go to my machine and I'm going to top stitch right along these, this right here to keep it in place. But first let me um, press on this to keep them flush real quick. Okay you guys, so I'm going to show something that looks like this at this point. What we're going to do now is we need to attach our bottom panels. So remember this is your top. This is going to be your bottom, so you're going to want to do the same thing you did at the top. You're going to lay your piece out, whichever way you think it goes best. Flip it like this. Clip it. Alright, flip it over. Add your piece. That piece is really off, isn't it? Um, that's okay, we can trim it. Add your inner fabric. So you were sandwiching the mesh in between the bottom layers. You're going to flip it around and do the exact same thing to the other side of your mesh at the bottom. Now you're going to go over to your sewing machine and you're going to stitch this in place. And you're going to do that for both sides. And then you're going to flip it around just like we did the last time. So you should have your bottom pieces where your inner and outer fabrics are facing out and top stitch along the seam where the mesh is between those two pieces. Okay, so sit your, um, sit your piece aside for a second, your bag itself, sit that aside. Next, we're gonna put together our um, stuff so we can make our straps because this is gonna be important for us to finish up the bag. 
I cut a piece of strapping that's about 53 inches, but you can cut it as long as you want to go around you. I'm making mine adjustable, so that's good. I just burned the edges, edges of the strapping because it'll stop it from fraying. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take my slide bar, I'm gonna put it up through one side and down the other side. Now, you can either bring it down like this and stitch it, if your machine doesn't like to go through a lot of layers, or you can get fancy with it and you can take this flappy end and roll it under and then stitch it so that you don't have any likelihood of fraying. Either way, you need to stitch that in place. So I'm gonna run over to my sewing machine and I'm just gonna put some stitches in here to hold this in place. Okay, so once you've done that, it should look like this. Now what you wanna do is take, you see that edge that's bumpy? That you want that facing up, grab your hook. You want it to be facing down, not up. Put it through the other end, like so. Now come, now you should have something that looks like this. Take this end, go up through one side, down the other side. Okay, now flip it around, get your other side. Okay, so for this time, you're gonna wanna make sure you lay it out so that you're, you got the pretty side of your buckle facing up or your slider facing up. Now take your strap. You want to, this time you want your hook to be facing upwards instead of like this. Now fold it over. Fold this piece over again, if you'd like, or just sew it down like this, either way. Tuck that nice in there. Go over and stitch that into place. Do a cross if you can. You might wanna use your zipper foot for this so you can get real close to this bar. Um, your, regular, your regular foot probably won't get you too close if you use your regular foot. All right, and now you should have an adjustable strap, which gets longer or shorter depending on what you like. So now that you've created your adjustable strap, just sit that bad boy aside till the very, very end. Next, you're gonna to need to get out your iron. All right, have your two little pieces. You can make them any color you want. I'm choosing just to keep them the same color as my fabric. You're gonna to wanna to take these little pieces, fold it in half like this. Press over it. I don't think my iron's high yet. Um, once you do that, you're gonna do the same kind of thing like you did with your tabs, except you're gonna fold down the middle, but not quite at the seam. So just, this is three inches by three inches, but we're just making tabs. There we go. All right, so now we have that. We're gonna fold it in half towards the center. Like this. And fold it again. Oh, that's hot. All right. Now I would clip this for a second or just do something to keep it in place because we're gonna have to stitch down that real fast. Do the same thing to your other one. All right, so now that you've done that, you're gonna wanna stitch down the sides of these little guys. So. If you wanna be fancy, stitch down both sides. Take your ring or whatever you're using. I'm using these rings because it makes it easier to hook my swivel hooks on. Um, just slide it in there. Now you don't have to do anything crazy here. You just want to put this in place so that when you're putting it into your project, it doesn't slide around. So we're just going to, you can leave these ends unfinished at the bottom. It doesn't matter. You're not going to see those. Just going to do a quick stitch down the center there or down the edge just so we can 
keep them lined up nice and neat um, when we're putting it into our project. Okay, so here's for the next final kind of important part. I want to box off the bottom. This, the, I want the bottom to be boxy for your babies to sit in. To do that, we need to cut a square in these corners, or at least that's the way I'm going to do it because it's easiest. Um, I am going to cut a two inch square, which will make my bottom four inches wide. So I'm just going to measure two inches up and two inches down. So I'm just, see where I'm marking my two? Okay, you do that, grab a pair of scissors. Um, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side, over here. Put this bad boy together like with this one over here. Line up your edges, okay? So you're gonna wanna be lining up your edges on your project. Just to clip your edges real quick while we're doing this next step. So make sure everything stays nice and lined up. This is the time to fix anything that's not lined up. You can always square up your project now, um, lay it out flat and cut it so it's all even on the sides. If you messed up anywhere, now would be a good time to fix that. Um, line up your bottoms. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to cut out the same squares here. Make sure this is all the way flush at the bottom. Your zipper is going to make you have to tug on this just a, just a wee bit, but don't worry. It'll be, it's good. That's what you got the zipper. So we're good to go. All right. So we're just clipping this in place. And now we need to cut out the squares for the bottom, this other side. And you can clip them if you want to, but we're not going to sew those right now, but it will help keep everything in place. Here's the next thing that you need to do. Turn this around so it's facing you, okay. Okay, this is the top of my bag, okay? This next part is very important. Go in and open your zipper. You are going to want to do that. Just unzip that bad boy. You need to be able to unzip it. So keep unzip it most of the way, okay? Like you want it unzipped. Now put your clips back. <laughs> um, okay, so now we need to connect. We need to throw these little guys in here. You want the hoops facing inside. Put them about an inch down. I would put them about an inch down from your zipper. Clip them in place. Make sure they're put in there evenly. Um, you can even stitch over that real quick before you start stitching up the sides just to make sure they hold together where they're supposed to. Just make sure they're even. They're in there about the same spot on both sides. You are going to sew across the bottom and stop. So go from here to here. You can back stitch, whatever you want to do, just go from here to here. Then you're going to lift your foot up and you're going to come here and you're going to go all the way up the side, both sides. And then I'll explain to you what we're going to do for the bottom. Now I would start at this edge and just go up. Do I have about a half inch seam? Get to your rings, go over them twice. Okay, so now you've stitched up both sides and you've stitched the bottom. So the only thing not stitched should be these corners right here. Okay, so open up your corner like this and flatten it out so that it looks like this. And then take, if you want to take a clip, you can. I normally do this at my sewing machine, but I want to make sure you guys can see what's happening here. So we're just going to put a clip here. We're going to clip these seams. You can even just spread your seams open. Um, try to line the seams up, seams up with each other. You'll see what I mean when you have it in front of you. All right. Because you're going to go to your sewing machine, and you're going to stitch across. You're going to do that to both corners. So open up that box corner, too. Match up the seams, put a clip on it, and then go over to your sewing machine and stitch across those corners right at the edge. 
I would do at least a half inch seam or maybe a quarter inch if you can get away with it. Okay, so you should have something that looks like this when you're done. Now, what I would do, what I would recommend maybe doing is going over to your sewing machine. Don't cut your thread line, you guys. Um, going over maybe to your sewing machine and um, putting like a zigzag stitch down maybe before you do what I just did, <laughs> maybe before you trim off your excess, um, just to kind of ensure that your sides are held in place nice and good, that the stitching's all in there. The zigzag stitch is a little bit um, more secure than a straight stitch, so I will probably do that. And then you could create a pad at the bottom if you'd like, um, so that like your babies have something to sit on that's not, because you know, obviously there's inside seams, there's not a whole lot I could do about that, the way this bag is made. Um, so, but you can always get, make a pad with some U-Haul padding that fits in the bottom and then, um, it would prevent them from sitting directly on the stitching. So what I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to run a little zigzag stitch down my sides and then I'm going to flip it inside out and turn and hook up our strapping. All right, let's turn our inside out, you guys. Just be gentle so you don't rip your zipper or anything. <laughs> so when you get to the bottom, you have to push it out a little and you'll see how these box corners come out it should come out nice and square which gives it a better sitting area for your pets than just a flat bottom than just that regular bottom so it should stand like this okay sorry you guys i'm not the best camera person um pull out your tabs <laughs> pop it out like that pull out this tab all right perfect Grab your straps. Connect that bad boy right here. Bring her on around. Connect this one. And you have a bag that they can sit in. And like I said, you can make a pad, you can make this bigger or smaller. And look at the bottom. Look at the bottom of that, you guys. And then if you were to put a pad in there, um, it would be great. Let's measure that and make a pad. Hmm, okay. All right, you guys, I didn't make the prettiest pad in the world, just a simple one. Just, just putting that in there. So it has a little firmer of a bottom. There we go. Perfect. And ta -da. now we're gonna go test it out on my babies. 